first day back, US trading, a uh, big risk on rally. What are going to be the key macro drivers in 2020? We've got the Fed on the sidelines, but a, a lot of optimism really, isn't there? Look, there is, and obviously you know, the recent rally probably reflects against WH central banks, obviously the PBOC in China uh, cutting the reserve requirements, and that's led to more of a rally in US or global stocks, really. Now, um, look, I think the big driver is going into uh, 220. Again, you've got to look at the Fed and, and look at trade. Um, look, I do think the Fed's going to be on hold, and if you look at the Fed fund drive the last you know, 12 months, it's been quite extraordinary. You know, they ended 2018 with the market pricing in four rate hikes, and then you ended it. Uh, in 19 with three rate cuts. It's a seven notch uh, differential in rates. It was a big move. Um, so I do think it would require a lot of courage for the Fed to now hike rates in 2020 after cutting it three times last year. The bar is very high and you're going to have to have very strong data uh, for them to justify that, which I don't think you'll see that happen. So I do think rates will be uh, stable for uh, 2020. Uh, and trade, look, let's see what happens in phase two. Uh, if phase one is any indication, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. It will be highly unpredictable. Uh, you know, Trump will say one thing one week and say the opposite the next week. And so we're hoping that there's more progress that will be made in trade, but it's very hard to tell at the moment.